Konya. Then the mamma mam tell mo at the nun ya fali, a be a man a you we got to song. This up to yen doi, the pin it yansi kapsany na di the dam fani. When yara won't tell nanam zabam be the bang. Ni yimna in titzi yin wa yi, kapang y man tap song kati ma karasa at the womsele kara nun ya fali. You may even got my be you and I go under as a tia or um sele de big mo that the focus from my pama di na or jump the cat ma. I go on the sale, car wom sele sham hal car bien the part and pass a shall woman. There's only one of the mat is a bound the monk at the good palanzia and your elders. Deputy Minister of Lands and Natural Resources. Representatives of the MC officials of the Forest Commission. Area head, the ministers of the Church of Pentecost, CND, the media, ladies and gentlemen. I bring you greetings from the Church of Pentecost family, led by Apostle Eric Nyamiche. I want to say that the importance of trees to human existence cannot be overlooked. Over the years, the Church of Pentecost has been partners with government and other stakeholders in keeping our environment clean. This has culminated in a yearly cleanup exercise and a tree planting exercise as we are partnering to do today. The reason why we this year have decided to work more in the north is that the depletion of the forest is hitting the northern part of our country more than other places. And so, with the launching of the Green Ghana Day on the 16th of April, we were there. We were ably represented when it was launched with a team growing for a greener tomorrow. And because of the church's concern for the environment and our contributions over the years, we have decided to push our attention to the north, where all our eight areas in the northern sector comprising Northern Savannah and the, all the upper regions have targeted to plant 105,650 trees to cover a space of 262 acres. That is for the north alone. As we do this, our brethren in the southern sector and other sectors are also engaged in the same exercise. And so these trees will be planted in communities around but then we have targeted to work with chiefs to get passes of land where we will plant trees that will last forever or for long. And we are pleading with our chiefs and elders that when these exercises come on, you will help us to protect these trees when they are planted so that we can have a better environment to live in. So this has culminated in our coming here today by the kind invitation of our, our, our father, Diana so that we are going to work together with him. And so, beloved, let me mention this thing and then I will, I will end it. Um, we have, over the years, for the three-year period, planted 1.6 million seedlings as a church. And this has a survival rate of 87%. And where 2021, we planted 680,000. And then following year, 902,000. And then last year, we planted, 2022, we planted 136,000 because we did not get involved so much in that year. And then these trees have survived at a rate of 87%, as I mentioned. And so, beloved, in, 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 in this family gathered here, we are here to give our support as a church so that our effort to green the northern sector of the country will be successful. Let us work together as we support our overlord and the elders and all the government officials to make this project a success. Thank you very much. Okay, no.